What is up all my dorks, nerds, geeks, and gamers? It's your host Ghost here, and today we're finishing up our game reaction trailers uh, this week with Batora, The Lost Haven. It is a new uh, indie game uh, announced for Xbox Series X and S and PS4 and PS5 and uh, PC and Steam. So we're going to hop right in, see what we can see. We're going to see what kind of game it is, and we're going to talk about it. So here we go. Now the reason I clicked, I wanted to do this trailer is just because the art style I saw from the thumbnail. So At the dawn of time. The art style looks very good. Life was created through the loving embrace But I have no idea what this game is about. And body. Mind and body, all right. And when humanity failed to respect their perfect balance. Most of the earth was obliterated. Yeah, I'm really digging the art style. It's almost got a Fortnite feel, uh, but they're taking it and now, just slightly more cartoonic. What I held dear. Man, those enemy designs look straight Halo. The majestic horizon of the but I'm, I'm liking the concept. Is it a sword slashing game? Hack and slash? With powers? I'm loving the colors, the vibrancy, the character designs, the simpleness of it. Through the depths of despair, I shall never be alone. So does that mean multiplayer? Because the blazing pure Yeah, it does look like a hack and slash style and game. Flowing wisdom of the moon. Oh wow, Super Fight Saiyan mode. By my side. Very awesome. Okay, so yes, it is a hack and slash style, um, top down twin shooter style game. Very cool. Almost like a Darksiders Genesis, if you guys didn't play that. Very cool, though. I like the character designs. I like the enemy designs. Lost Haven. Alright, looks pretty good. For a new IP, something different. Uh, new character bringing in the mix. Uh, new The enemy types look cool. And it's time to bring these type of games back. Uh, Wishlist now on Steam, coming to PS4, PS5, Xbox Series X, S, and Nintendo Switch. Alright, well that was the trailer, guys. Let's talk about it. Here we go. That was Batora, The Lost Haven. We didn't really don't see any gameplay at all. Uh, but what we did get to see, well, we saw a little bit. I shouldn't say that. We saw a little bit at the end there. But what we do know is it is a top-down style um, arena brawler, twin-stick shooter almost style, but you're not using guns, you're using just swords. Uh, where it's kind of horde based, where they kind of rush you, kind of like a Dead Nation if you've ever played that game, very much like that. But this is more of an enemy sci-fi type uh, threat we're dealing with, and not zombies. Uh, so it's cool. It's got anime inspired setting, uh, anime inspired like moments with the transformations and the key and the using your power and all that stuff. So I'm really down with that. And I'm also really digging the art style. Uh, it's very simple, clean, uh, but it's got that cartoony mix of realism and um, abstract to it that you don't see very often. So those are the reasons why I'm looking forward to this game. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure you leave your comments down below what you think of Batora Lost Haven. Uh, are you going to be picking up or not? Does it look fun to you or not? Like, subscribe, and share. And as always, guys, keep it right here on Dorkston. I've been your host, Ghost. Adios.